I will call for white people like myself to put ourselves in the shoes of those African-American families who fear every time uh, their children go somewhere, who have to have the, the talk about you know, how to uh, really protect themselves when they're the ones who should be expecting protection from encounters with the police. Hillary Clinton planning on lecturing white people, saying that they need to listen up when it comes to legitimate cries from black people. So is she right? Here to weigh in, Fox News contributor and liberal radio talk show host Leslie Marshall, as well as radio talk show host and Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. Thank you both for joining us so yeah. early morning. this morning. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Well, Tammy, I'll start with you. Uh, what do you think? Is she right? Well, look, I think that we know that crime is a problem in this country. We know that the condition of the inner cities are, is horrible. And yet, isn't it ironic that the people responsible, politicians like Hillary Clinton, are telling us that we need to search our souls? This is about a distraction. They want individuals in the inner city, particularly people of color, to not be asking the questions of why are our lives not getting better? Why is crime higher? Why is unemployment at rates of the Great Depression? And that goes down to the liberal policies in cities like Baltimore, Chicago, St. Louis, New York, and it's because they don't want people to be asking about who's made this happen. So it's a distraction. And for Hillary Clinton to bring up the issue of race at this point, when this is a, a, a collective American family issue, is outrageous. And it tells the American people what her real agenda is, which is to distract and to dissuade people from asking serious questions. Leslie? Ooh. I disagree. Uh, uh, race is an issue. Uh, we know that as a fact that those officers that lost their lives in Dallas uh, were victims of, of prejudice based on the color of their skin. There are those that feel that when they are stopped by police officers that it is because of the color of their skin and then there are those that feel because of a simple traffic stop there are those just a couple in the past week lost their lives based on the color of their skin. We've even had a governor of a state uh, say as much even though Hillary Clinton has not gone that far to agree with that. Um, I think that she is right. Uh, look, I'm a white person, but I do know in the African American community I've spoken to on my radio program and just throughout the years, uh, we do not understand that. And this conversation needs to be more than a conversation. We don't need to have violent protest. We need to have a, a healing between the police department and the inner city, but also between the lack of understanding of the frustrations of this community. So I do agree with Secretary Clinton in her remarks. It's part of the problem, though, what gets the most publicity? And therein is the media, in fact, partly to blame because you look at some of the statistics and they don't add up to what we hear repeatedly and daily because the Washington Post specifically, they did a study and it showed that in uh, last year, last year in total, 50% of the victims of fatal police shootings were white while 26% were, in fact, black. Mm. So that's not really the story that we hear unfolding when we watch the media, Leslie. See Oh, well, first of all, I just was looking at that, so thank you for mentioning that, uh, the Washington Post. When you break it down further, uh, the overwhelming majority of those, by the way, uh, were clean uh, shootings. They were in defense of either the officer or another individual, a potential future victim's life. But in the over 200 cases that weren't, the majority of those were African-American, disproportionate uh, to those who were white. But, but see, I think this is one of the one of the issues within that it's the presumption is, is that those individuals are shot because of the color of their skin. We lose the context, the nature of what's occurring and that wonderful, remarkable statement by the woman that carried on Fox News, one of the victims about how she admires the police even more as they protected everyone in that march in Dallas. But keep in mind, yeah. what is that? What is July? It is convention month. And these things are happening now because it is a contrived dynamic through Black Lives Matter to influence the nature of the political argument as we move to November. There are there is videos throughout the year. It's interesting how these riots only begin to happen in politically well, expedient Tammy, months. Yeah, Tammy, let's move into that, though, because that sure. is our second topic as we move into the conventions. Uh, Donald Trump expected to make a major VP announcement this week. So best and worst predictions in your opinion so far. And then, Leslie, I'll get to you. Well, I think uh, Joni Ernst uh, is, would be an excellent choice. So that's a terrific prediction. She fits all brackets and she happens to be a woman military service. 
Columbus. And of course, the generals, Flynn and McChrystal have been brought up as well. Newt Gingrich, I love him. He's fabulous. He'll be great in the cabinet, maybe Secretary of Defense, but that would not be a great choice. He's older than Mr. Trump, and he comes with establishment okay. baggage. Leslie, just quickly. Okay, I agree with you on, I agree with you on Joni. Military experience, evangelical, uh, ticks the uh, female boss, and has, has political experience. I agree with you on Newt Gingrich, but disagree on General. On General Flynn, let me tell you why. He is a registered Democrat. Uh, he, uh, in the past, has had issues that do not line up with the GOP with uh, abortion and gay marriage. He has zero political experience, so I would say that's the only area on this one I disagree with yeah, you, Tammy. I had something to say about abortion yesterday. Uh, we'll see what happens. That Donald Trump the will, yeah, perhaps. he'll do what he wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you both for joining us. Leslie Marshall, Tammy Bruce, thank you. Thank you.